What's going on? Brian Carroll here at PowerRackStrength.com HQ in Jacksonville, Florida. I wanted to take a minute to um, thank Dave Hoff again for his help. Dave and I have, have went back and forth over the years. He's obviously the better lifter. He's totaled over 3,000 like six times or something like that. Um, but he still helped me work on my squat. And I'm sure he would have helped me work on my bench if I wanted to stay in competition. But I just don't want to do that anymore. I've got other things I need to focus on. Work always uh, takes the uh, back seat to my lifting. And now that I have two six-month-old babies, I just, I just got to focus on that now. So with that said, about four years ago, uh, Dave and I started talking again. He came here for a meet in August, his comeback meet from his rib injury. And uh, I think he totaled 2,700 here. Missed a couple lifts. Uh, still had a, a big day for his first meet back in a year or two. Uh, they came over, Dave, Kellen, Phil, a bunch of people came over and hung out that night. We got to talking a bit. He had some suggestions for my lifting, for my squat in particular. He stayed on me about going wider. And I, I would do it from time to time. But to be honest with you, the way the Enzo gear fit me, unless I got it custom made, it didn't fit me uh, in a way that I could go out that wide because the, the, the leg length on the briefs, on the suits were substantially longer than, for instance, the ultimate overkill suit that I was wearing. But we'll get to that in a second. But then... Fast forward 2017, Dave actually came with me to the XPC, helped coach me on a few things. He helped me. Um, fast forward to 2018, I went up just to bench with him and squat with him. He helped me with some things. One big thing he hammered home to me was the belt squat and how important it was. So fast forward a couple months, Danny Belmore gifted me his belt squat. I started hammering the belt squat. Um... I got a better belt squat last year, 2019. I really put in a lot of work with the belt squat. As you know, I left Enzer, went with Overkill, and uh, had a custom squat suit built for me and my um, my build and my uh, specific needs. I'm very short-legged and long torsoed. So combined with Dave's help of getting me to squat wider, I went and saw him this year in March. He yelled at me until I went wide enough. Uh, Anthony Oliveira was back spotting me, cueing me on a few things. Dave was on the side calling me down, uh, making me settle the bar at the top a little bit longer. All of these things combined with being 40 pounds bigger, having time off last year, off supplements, off from, from uh, lifting heavy, doing a bunch of raw work. And just basically reworking my squat over the last year as I moved up a weight class, you know, forgot about the whole 242 thing, put it behind me and kind of rebuilt my torso with specific core movements, core lifts, core holds, McGill Big 3, stir the pot, suitcase carries, bottoms up carries, um, different variations of planks and things of that nature. I really built a solid rigid torso. I worked on my form with my stance wider that allowed me to sit more straight up to lessen my range of motion before I hit parallel. And uh, that combined with the wisdom that Hoff gifted me allowed me to be able to break that 1,300 pounds like I did. So I know that Dave's going to attempt to, to break it next week, and he probably will. And that'll be great. It'll take some heat off me. I can kind of fade away and keep working on my thing. But I just want you guys to know I've made jokes. I've said things. Uh, obviously, Dave is the best lifter of this generation. Um, I just happened to be able to get that 1,300-pound squat in. And to be honest with you, if I would have been invited to the WPO, I would have done it there. Now, I did end up having a bicep injury. But, you know, nonetheless, if I'd have been invited, I would have loved to lift head-to-head -head against Dave. And, of course, he would have annihilated me on the bench by 200 pounds. We would have pulled about the same but I was looking before I tore my arm off of hitting a 2,900 plus total um, with a 1,300 squat, an 850 bench, 800 deadlift. It's 29 something, I believe. But with all that said, I give credit. Uh, it was Dave's record that I broke. And Dave in 2013 broke my 275 world record by 25 pounds. This time I broke his world record by 33 pounds. So 
Next week, WPO. Dave, if you don't break it by at least 33 pounds, it doesn't count. So last time you did it by 25 pounds. This time I did it by 33 pounds. So I think a fair, uh, uh, a fair meet in the middle would be 50 pounds. So I'm expecting to see like a 1350 something squat and it won't surprise me. It's not going to surprise me when you squat 1400, but I wanted to thank you for your help. I mean that no jokes. You're, you're one that I will actually listen to because you've done more than me. You had the experience. You've worked under Louie. So I really appreciate the help you've given me. Um, I wouldn't have been able to squat that 1,300 pounds with, without your wisdom and help. But um, I had to get out of the Enzer stuff, and, and Rudy was a big part of that. But a lot of people helped me along the way, and I don't want to just uh, act like I did it all myself. So uh, a little bit of rambling here, but... Um, good luck to Dave next week as he goes to, I'm sure, attempt to break my record. Um, anyone else looking at the WPO next week, I'm going to enjoy sitting back and not having pressure on me and just enjoying the, the dog fight between Chris and Dave. So good luck to everyone next week. Dave, thank you again for your help and everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.